Hey everybody, I'm Chris. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you are, thank you so much for coming back to my corner of the internet. Today Mark and I are going to go play some poker with some friends, so I wanted to put on a light face of makeup, just something fresh and wearable, and something that's really easily recreatable. So if you'd like to see the look I create, stay exactly where you are because we're getting into it right now. We are jumping right in because I've got 30 minutes to get ready, actually less than that because we need to stop and pick up something on the way there. So we're just going to go. I've already finished my skincare this morning, but I've got to start my makeup routine with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Just the way it looks on the skin and how it smooths everything out, gets those fine lines looking plumped and invisible, it's amazing. I mean, just look at the glow, and I haven't even done anything else. For a little bit of priming action, we're using the Winky Lux Whipped Cream Primer. I mean, it's even fun to look at. This primer fills the pores beautifully. It makes your face look so smooth. Plus, it's got a little bit of a pink tint to it, so you can even wear it on days that you're not wearing any other makeup, and it smooths everything out still and doesn't look super obvious that you have something on your skin. For a little bit of glow, the Rodile Soft Focus Glow Drops. This can also be used on its own as well, and that's kind of the main theme for today today's look is a bunch of stuff that can be used on just skincare days or makeup days. Do you see what I mean? It's heavenly. Now before I put on any complexion products, I like to structure my brows just a little bit. And for that, I'm using the NYX Brow Glue. This honestly varies by the day. Sometimes I feel like this one. Sometimes I feel like the Winky Lux one. Just depends on my mood. Run it through really well forward and then run it through really well backwards. Just make sure the brows are really, really coated. Then lift, 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 lift. And for my preference, they don't have to necessarily be soap brows, just lifted. Although a good soap brow is amazing sometimes. Then remove any excess product that's not, in fact, part of your brows. Now using the NARS Soft Matte Pot Concealer in the shade Light 1, I'm just gonna take this and cover any spots or blemishes that may have appeared overnight. I especially love this step for razor burn. Just covers all the nasties. And while that's setting just a bit, I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Star Concealer. This is actually the color corrector in the shade Peach. I'm gonna put a couple little dots under my eye where I have the most discoloration. And just using the same brush I used in the concealer, I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit on the darkest parts of my under eye. The real trick to no makeup makeup is the least layers possible to achieve the desired result. I find color corrector really helps me in that aspect since I've got such dark under eyes. Now using a brush, I'm gonna blend this in. I like using a brush because I can keep the coverage that I've got versus using a sponge which takes up a lot of the product. Sometimes you might want that, but I don't want that for today. I'm trying to cover this stuff and leave it covered. Even just that does wonders for the skin. I mean, my under eyes look like they're right and like I slept a little bit. Oh my gosh, I've got eight minutes. <laughs> now using a really fluffy duo fiber brush and the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop, I'm just gonna start evening out the complexion all over my face. Using a really fluffy diffused brush like this, it really gives you the opportunity to keep the coverage super light and not building it too much too fast so that you have the ability to keep it lighter even as you're building product. You get to build slowly so that it doesn't turn into full glam like it's so easy for me to do. Now that the complexion is evened out, we need to bring back some color. For bronzer, I'm gonna start with the Paracone MD No Makeup Bronzer. And just using the doe foot applicator that it comes with, I'm gonna make a couple of dots within the hollows of my cheeks, a little bit around the perimeter of my forehead, a couple dots down the side of my nose, as well as the jawline. I'm using a dense brush to blend this in this time so I can see the pigment being blended. Then I can use the fluffy brush again to blend it out if it gets way too compacted. I just like to keep this a little more detailed, a little more precise so I can really see where I'm placing it. Time is so short. I'm so glad I didn't choose to do any easy, simple eye look with this too, because we wouldn't have had time. I'm not really worried about keeping this super precise or building any kind of shape because I'm not doing specifically a nose contour. It's just adding some definition back, getting some structure back to the face since I made it all disappear with the base.
Bronzing's done, now let's add some color. I'm using the Merit Beauty Flush Balms, both shades Cheeky and Stockholm. Just using the same brush I used in the bronzer and gonna put that on the high points of the cheek. I love this blush for an everyday kind of look because it's so close to that natural, I just came in from the cold kind of color. I know it looks kind of insane and very colored right now, but hey, blush is in, who cares? But I will be blending a lot of that in and away across the bridge of the nose. Essentially, this is everywhere that's gonna change color when you come in from the cold. That's it for the shade Cheeky. Now taking the shade Stockholm and just putting that on the highest points of the cheek and on the apple of my cheeks. It's just a brighter color and I think it's a little cute and it draws out some of the color in my eyes even though I'm wearing contacts today so you can't see the color of my eyes but it's still a cute color. And for the last complexion product, the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix. This under eye concealer right over the color corrector is a perfect one two easy under eye and it blends like a dream. So I'm spreading the product with a brush first then this time I am gonna go in with a damp sponge and just clean everything up, press everything in, melt it all together so we have a flawless finish. Concealer's on, blended for just a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna take it on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose. This is just the excess that's on the brush. I'm not adding any more. And a little bit on the chin, as well as the hollows of my cheeks. Now we're gonna grab our damn sponge and blend. And we're gonna blend like nobody's business because we gotta go. We gotta go yesterday. We gotta go day before yesterday. We gotta go now. And I'm blending everything else first. That way, once I get to the under eye, I can blend that concealer out and into the blush to take away some of the intensity of the blush. Now with the concealer applied and blended out, I'm taking the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder and I'm taking just a little tiny bit of it and run that right across the under eye. And last, to set the rest of the face, the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. I'm just gonna use the bigger end of a powder puff, press it into the pan and just set the rest of my face. Now I'm gonna lock this all in with a Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray in the scent of Dream Sickle, cause who doesn't love a Dream Sickle? Fan ourselves, cause we are too hot to handle. And last, using the Urban Decay Brow Blade in the shade Neutral Nana, I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to the brows. We're definitely gonna use a spoolie to blend that in a little bit. We gotta curl the lashes. And to perfect the lips, the Winky Lux Affogato Lip Balm. I'm off to play poker. Wish me luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I gotta go. Using a really fluffy diffused brush like this, using a really fluffy diffused brush like this, using a really fluffy diffused brush like this, oh my God. Using a really fluff, using a really fluffy diffused brush like this, it really gives you the opportunity to keep the coverage super light and not building it too much too fast.